Once upon a time, there lived a small grasshopper who desired to go on a great adventure. He had found his friend, the butterfly, and had asked the butterfly where the butterfly would like to go. Where do you want to go some day? I'd like to go out into the wide world, because I've heard there's many wonderful things that we can see and do. That would be great. What do we need to travel there? Well, I think that we'll need permission to go there, but I'm afraid we might not be able to get it. Why don't we go ask and see if we can get some help, and maybe we'll be able to go on our great journey. Oh, look! Here's the person that might be able to help us get to our destination. Do you know if it's possible for us to go on this exciting journey? We've heard there's a great world out there ready for us to explore. There's no way I'll let you go out there. It's too dangerous. What? You would just make bad decisions. You think you could be trusted? Well, of course we could be trusted. We're very responsible, and we've been known to make good choices in the past. I won't allow it. Don't even think about asking. If you try, you shall fail. Well, maybe we need to talk to somebody else. Come on, let's go. Have you heard the rumors about the people that want to go on the great adventure? Yes, I've heard the rumors. Tell me, what should we do? Of course, we should prevent them from leaving. We can't trust anyone. We must keep everyone as tightly controlled as possible. I've heard that they may be seeking the advice of our great leader. What do you recommend that I do? Tell them how dangerous it is out in the world, and tell them there's no way they should be trusted. Make up as many reasons as possible to be sure that they can't leave. We need to come up with many reasons, not just one. We must stop this adventure before it even begins. Very well, I shall do as you say. I always trust whatever you tell me. Well, greetings, my young friends. What are you here to do? We want to go on a great adventure. We've heard that you're the one that can give us the permission we need. Is it possible for us to go? Yes, we'd love to go. We've seen there's a big world out there, but we're not allowed to leave at current time. The people who hold the keys to the door, they're, they're not letting us go through the door. Well, I don't know if you can be trusted or not. I think you can, but i better check with my top man. Just hold on a bit, and I'll get back with you. Tell me, my noble guru of all knowledge of the door, is it safe to let others leave and go on this adventure? Why, no, sir, of course not. We cannot trust them. How silly. There are so many reasons why we cannot trust them. Number one, we just don't know what they'll do. Number two, it's a dangerous world out there. And number three, it will make more work for us if perhaps they get in trouble. So we recommend that we keep them locked away. Yes, that is certainly the way that we should go. Keep them locked up. Don't let them know even the possibility of going out into this wide world. We must keep them controlled and, and not even let them taste freedom. Well, I don't know that we should do that, but since you're my gurus of all knowledge when it comes to adventure, I feel I must, I, I must follow your advice. We're back. We would love to be able to go on our trip. Have you talked to your bold leader, adventurer, whoever this person is who has the knowledge of whether we can go or not? We're so excited to leave. Please tell us, what did you learn? Well, I'm sorry, my young children, but it appears there are many reasons why you cannot be trusted and, and well, why it would just be too much work for people if, if you would go out adventuring. It would be much better if you will just stay here. But no, we won't accept that as an answer. 
we know it's possible to go further and farther and to see more and to do more than we can do here in this world. So we are going to call upon a great assistant who we've heard can bring about the change that we need. Who would that be? I am the king of this dominion. I am the leader. You cannot change anything unless I say that you can. Well, that's why we've asked our fairy godmother to come assist us. And look, here she comes now. Oh, you silly man. I'm going to wave my wand and... What? What's this? Oh, my God. Who are you, woman? What are you doing here? Yes, that's right. We're the ones who really hold the controls here. I see that you are. But, unfortunately for you, I have more power than you do. So, with a flick of my wand, whoopsh, you're gone. And with a flick of my wand, whoopsh, you are gone too. Adios, amigos. Yay, that's great. Thank you so much. We're so appreciative. Oh no, what shall I do now that these leaders or these apparent gurus of knowledge are gone? Why, I think we'll all have to go on an adventure together. Quick, let's head out and see the world. What a big world it is. And you know, the lesson of the story is, you must have knowledge of the wider world and not simply rely upon people who may or may not have the full perspective, not only on why it is important to go into the wider world and to trust others, but also the reasons why we can navigate this world of uncertainty together. Please, become a better leader and stop holding these people back who certainly deserve the opportunity to explore the wider world. Yay! I'm so thankful for our fairy godmother. She helped us. I guess I'm thankful too. It is a wider world out here, and I'm glad to see the truth. Indeed, we've all seen enlightenment thanks to our work together. Clearly, we have a lot of work to do and a lot of bold adventuring. We'll see you later, and we'll check in with you along the way. Adios.